Hi guys, I'm going to share with you my first HelloFresh box. I just got the delivery today and I thought I would turn this into kind of a two-part thing where this in this video, the first part, I will share with you what's what's in the box and then the second part will be either how the meals turned out or maybe me cooking the stuff um something to that effect so hopefully I'll get to the second part and well, I tried to film this before and I kept everything in the box I'm trying to show you the stuff like lifting up the box and it was insanely heavy so I took the stuff out I used my brain I took the stuff out so I could show you the box it's huge look at it I don't think the camera does it justice, but it's a huge box and it it came. So I chose, you could choose a delivery date. I chose Saturday and it says anytime from eight to eight and FedEx was delivering it. They delivered it around one o'clock, which was really nice. Um, and then I just wanted to see if I could figure out how many pounds this thing is because it is really heavy. Oh, 14 pounds. So not super heavy it feels really heavy to me i'm so out of shape uh so the you were able to choose three recipes sorry something fell on the floor and they are the korean beef bibimbap or i chose these three juicy lucy burgers and the figgy balsamic pork and in the back of all of these i love these cards uh, are exactly the steps on how to cook them and the ingredients they give you everything that you need except for I believe a few ingredients like salt and pepper and maybe olive oil but everything else they give you I took a sneak peek of the Korean beef bibimbap uh, bag and they truly do give you everything that you need and I wasn't really so these are the three that I ended up picking it picking from but I wasn't really satisfied with all of the options that they give you they give you I feel like there were at least maybe 15 to 20 but I wasn't in love with any of them and then the ones that I did really want to get they were extra fee so that's I think how they get you but I'm gonna try these out and see if I'll keep the, the service and uh, we'll just take it week by week you're able to skip um, five days before your delivery date so I always have to, I keep that in mind I wrote it down somewhere and so they come in bags like this and the meats I will you know what let me put the box on the ground uh, let me take this meat out of the box and then I'll show you everything okay so I took the meat out they were at the bottom and it was covered with ice packs that are still really cold so I really like that uh, so for the Korean bibimbap, you get the scallions, the squash, oh gosh, the squash, carrots, and you get two of everything because I guess it's double uh, since I chose four people. And then here are the sauce packets. You get sesame oil, soy sauce. The only thing I noticed already is so much plastic sriracha which is super cute but waste of plastic uh then here is the cutest little white wine vinegar which i'm probably not even gonna open i do have white wine vinegar garlic so this see they give you everything jasmine rice mushrooms mushrooms and garlic so that's everything that you need to make this dish and I'm really excited oh I will show you the ground beef goes like that so I'm gonna actually freeze the meat so I'll keep that to the side because I'm not gonna start cooking it until today is Saturday I'm not going to cook it until Tuesday. Okay, so that is the Korean bibimbap. And then I haven't opened the next two. This is the figgy balsamic pork. I thought the fig sauce, the fig balsamic sauce and the pork sounded really good together. So you get, oh, that's so cute. I believe that's rosemary. I just, these are so cute. The balsamic vinegar. 
string beans, which looks really nice, these string beans. Then you also get fig jam, chicken, oh my goodness, that is so funny. I think this is, I don't know, chicken stock in there? I'm just trying to see, oh, and there's shallot and potatoes. So a bunch of potatoes in here. Oh, and I should, you know what, I'm going to show you again. So that's what this is supposed to turn out to look like. And the pork is, hopefully I have, you know what, let me check if there's, oh, there is. Okay, I showed you one ground beef. I was like, oh wait, isn't this supposed to be double? There's one still left in there. And there is a little note that tells you. Don't forget about ingredients which may be hiding under the ice. And this is the meat for the pork tender, uh, pork tenderloin. Or, I'm sorry, this is the meat for the dish, and it's a pork tenderloin. See, this is, I feel like for four people, maybe for average family, but Steve eats a lot, so <laughs> I feel like this is kind of small. But we'll see. And then... So let me push that to the side. And then next, the last one is the Juicy Lucy Burger. And I'll just show you, uh, you again, use the ground beef. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. So here's the Brio buns. That's adorable. Get a red onion, tomatoes, nice looking broccoli. The veggies look really great in here, I have to say. That's the first thing that I noticed. There's another balsamic vinegar, ketchup, fry seasoning. And then you get the, you get mayonnaise, sour cream, garlic, and the last thing in here is the go-getter cheese. And everything, like I said, is double because it's for four people. And this is what that's supposed to look like. And then, just again to show you, the Korean beef bibimbap. So that's it. I'm super excited about this. I had to move stuff around in my fridge to make sure that this fit in there. But hopefully these things taste good and are enough amount of food for, all, for everybody here. We're pretty big eaters in this family. So, um, I mean, the meat. It looks kind of small so we'll see if everything else kind of with the potatoes and the veggies if that rounds everything else we should always eat, have more veggies anyway and you are allowed to I believe skip five days before your delivery date so I have to decide by Monday if I want to skip the next week's uh, meals so um, yeah I'm pretty excited I hope to get to the second part and if I don't um, maybe you'll see a post on on the meals on Instagram which I definitely will take a picture of and yeah. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon bye